Hello, everybody. Welcome to Workshop Wednesday here on Wednesday. Doing good, uh, busy, lots of things going. I got a little deal I'm gonna show you all this morning. It's, it's a blacksmithing trick, so you blacksmiths aren't gonna be too interested because y'all do this all the time, and it's a simple thing, but uh, I'm gonna show you a mouthpiece that I'm making. It's quite the contraption. Maybe you saw the post Monday. Maybe, no, I haven't posted it, but saw the parts on Monday. So anyhow, I'll show you what that is, and it's about, uh, I got bars that are square twist, and so it's simply making a twist in the bars of the mouthpiece. But um, these are, are kind of fun. It's it's not that big a deal. Here it is. Um, this is called a, a correction hinge port. So got this moving, got that moving, both sides independently of each other. Um, that's a whole nother workshop Wednesday on how all that stuff's put together, but we'll do that at some point. But if you notice here, the part I want to show you all today is the twist. So I have this one twisting like this, and then this one over here is twisting like that. So that's opposing twist. This is right hand, and that would be left hand twist. So how do you do that quickly and easily? Well, yeah, you can uh, clamp, clamp that in, heat it up, clamp that in in the vise, twist that one that way. Heat this one up and twist it the other way, and away you go. Or you can create a little deal like I got here. So uh, this little thing here is, is I just made it. I just cut it out a three eighths plate. Got a little three eighths. This is three eighths square stock that I'm using here. I got a little three eighths slot. Stick it down in there, and away we go. So um, when I'm doing it, I just stuck this piece of, of stock in the forge, heated it up, just the end of it, stuck it in there. Where well, I went for my video, since I only have one hand, I'm gonna stick it in like that. I got me a little uh, crescent wrench, stuck it here in the center of my of my deal, and I pulled this way. Well, that turns this this way, and turn it turns both of them the same way, but it creates an opposing twist. Don't make me tell you how, because I'm not sure. But you go like that, twist it, and then I came and cut it right here in the center. And on my bandsaw, and away it go. And that's how I created these two pieces. So, as it's twisting, because you can see, so you see this. Gosh dang, I quit, keep getting the deal crooked. Sorry, the camera. Um, this one's going in this way, and this is going in this way. So, if these two were together, and I got my, my crescent here, and I twisted, well, it twists everything. So, y'all can see the twist following the direction of my, of my crescent as I went around around there anyhow simple trick guys easy to make um getting it even is is a, a bit of a trick first one i did is a little crooked might have that and i can show you i just thought of that hold on i'll show you the first one the first mess up here it is so oh y'all dizzy see that is a little slower twist than it is here what happened is is as I had it in my in my fixture, I didn't put my crescent in the center of the deal. So as I turned, I turned the same amount of times, but it made this one tighter than it made that one. So I had to redo it. Um, but and I used a so, well. Let me just back up. So what I would do is is with my bandsaw cut right here, and then cut right there, and weld them up, and away you go. If they're centered up in the same twist rate and all that, so anyhow. Hope that's helpful. Blacksmith, sorry it was a repeat. Benton Spur Makers, hope you liked it. Hope everybody else just watched it for fun. Liked it. All's well. Busy. Spur workshop's full. I have no more room. Big workshop's got plenty. I uh, think there's some left in the engraving deal too. If you got any questions, holler at me. See you soon. Adios.